you want to hear something funny? State of me. <laughs> Today, I was going to stay in, sort out the raffle. I've got hours of paperwork to do with that. It's going to take a little while. Um, I'm using a different platform. And if you donate anonymously, I have to double click through to find out who you are. And there's been, I'm going to have to do that quite a lot. And um, anyway, <laughs> I decided I'm just going to hunker down. I'm going to have a lovely time. I love writing my list for my raffle. And I was like, ooh, this is lovely. And, um, and then my friend said, oh, my husband's still got COVID and it's my birthday. Let's go out. And I'm like, yes, let's do that. It's your birthday. <laughs> So I'm getting myself all ready and everything's lovely and, and I and I'm I lock up the house and I start walking up to the car and my legs just go out from under me and I'm thinking I can save this I can save this I am not going to land and I put another foot out the third leg and and it skidded as well and I pretty much did the splits and I've landed really hard on my knee and at a funny angle it literally brought tears to my eyes. I don't think I have any permanent damage on my clothes or my body, but I'm wet through. I wonder if I can show you this. This dress has got a funny material. When it goes wet, it goes really stiff. Let me turn this light on here. Oh yeah, look, the dark stiff bits are the wet bits where I just landed in a puddle. I'm absolutely soaked all up my back, my backside. This is my petticoat. Isn't that pretty? Um, oh, no one can see that because uh, it's under the dress. But oh, I have to turn the heating up, dry myself off. <laughs> Anyone else have toilet roll in their car? Oh, windscreen wipers are still going. I'm here in Clifton. I love Clifton. I don't very often come. And parking has always been a nightmare. It's even worse now because they've pedestrianised loads of areas. However, I've not had a problem parking ever since Kate died. All I do is I say, Kate, can you help me? I need a parking space. And she always delivers. This parking space is very squeaky. I'm hoping that nobody parks too tightly in front of me or I won't be able to get out. I'll show you. Oh, I don't want to get out in the rain. Actually, it's not that bad. Either. There's a bit of a gap there. There's a bit of a gap there. Hopefully, no one will park too tight in front of me. Right, let's go. Oh, I better not run because I'm prone to falling over today. Ooh. <laughs> Look at Wendy's got her camera out. <laughs> Do you want me in it, Wendy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's all about being up here and that camera. Mm -hmm. I'm walking the dog. <laughs> Don't I look lovely? <laughs> look lovely earlier once my dress had dried out after falling over which has left me with a really sore big toe knuckle never mind and a tingling wrist again never mind um oh god ever so wet so i i managed to park as you'll have seen not too far away from where we were having breakfast and um but i did get wet and then Wendy couldn't find a parking space and she's not very confident so I dropped she found us at the restaurant and um, I took her car and parked it for her and I again didn't have to park that far away but it was raining so much I got absolutely damp not wet through to the bone but just damp and then I got warm in the car coming home and now I'm out again and I'm cold cold hot cold I don't do well with temperature changes because <laughs> I'm a princess so I don't do well with temperature changes <laughs> here's the plan for the rest of the day I am going to go home after I've dragged Bunny around the woods 
she hates coming out in weather like this. I had to drag her out. But she won't go to the bathroom in the garden, so she's got to come out for a walk. Otherwise, she's uncomfortable. Uh, I'm going to get in, make a water bottle, make a cup of tea, light a candle, um, and get going right in my list for the raffle. So uh, that's that will take me up to school run time, and then I will pick up the child, cook the supper, and before you know it, it's bedtime. I am ready for an early night tonight. It's, um, I think it's that time of year, isn't it? Where uh, Toby's feeling tired too. I think we just need a few early nights just to recalibrate. Um, yeah, so bit of an another bit of a boring vlog. I promised you it would get better and it hasn't. So I'm, I'm a liar. It's so horrible out. It's mild, it's only eight degrees, but the air is wet. So the damp air just swirls around and gets up your coat sleeve and up your trouser leg and it leaves your skin damp and then it gets cold. Gosh, I'm so British, I love talking about the weather. Well, my starter's doubled in size. So I'm going to get that going and then I'll do the raffle. I do the Bake With Jack um, recipe for my sourdough and his sourdough starter. I follow his guide for all of that. But recently I have been doing Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone. I've been doing her way of making the actual sourdough and um, it's very similar they're both very similar and I guess actually if I went back and looked at both of their methods I've probably changed it all and now it's kind of me my, my own method but it's it's um I don't really know what to say about it it works for me. <laughs> I won't be putting out a tutorial or anything anytime soon. <laughs> Just there's so many good ones out there. I would recommend Bake with Jack or Farmhouse on Boone. So all I'm doing is 450 of flour in here. I've got 310 grams of warm filtered water that do actually I've gone slightly over so I'll just add a bit more flour in there we go lovely then I've got this Danish dough hook I shall give it a swirl up make it into a shaggy dough water and the flour get to know each other. I'm just going to wet my hands. Let's clean up that dough hook, it's very easy. And on top of this shaggy mix, I'm going to sprinkle a teaspoon, a good teaspoon of really good, fine Himalayan pink sea salt. The opinion that I have when it comes to anything that takes you a long time or anything that you're going to live with for a long time is use the best that you can or buy the best that you can so i want to use the best flour and in my opinion the best salt i can get my mitts on i'll just leave that there for about half an hour now and then i'll be back do the stretching and the folding oh blast just before i dashed out the door to do the school run i added my starter 100 grams to my um, flour water and salt and kind of smooshed it in a bit forgot to record it when i get in i'll do some folds until i feel like it feels right <laughs> the dough changes it becomes more silken and less sticky more 
doughy. And then I'll shove it in a banneton, throw it in the fridge, and that's where it will live until I cook it tomorrow. Oh, old pants. I've just sheared Toby and Wilf, and I've forgotten to... I forgot to film it. That would have been funny, watching them, especially if I sped it up, them wincing and flinching. <laughs> I do wish they'd go back to having their hair cut at hairdressers. It's not something I really enjoy doing and I'm not very good at it either. But I guess it's a lockdown legacy and it does mean that they don't have to wait for hours to get to the front of the queue at the barbers on the weekend. Right, better sort out this sourdough now. The most fun you've ever had, no? Well, not ever, but... All right, okay, I'm going to do this sourdough. So I'm just going to sprinkle on some flour so I can get it off. What I'm um, doing here is, do you know what? I don't know why I'm showing you this, because every time I do a loaf, it always looks terrible when I film it. What I'm doing now is I'm just going to stretch it and fold it kind of into shape so I can start building the tension on the crust and kind of drying it out a bit so it will hold its shape. And then it won't stick in the banneton and it will hopefully rise nicely. I'm not very good at this, but as long as it's an edible loaf, then we don't really care, do we? I'll leave that for a little while to just sort of crust up a bit and then I'll tuck and tuck and roll, tuck and roll. No. I'm going to say goodnight now. Having just received brilliant news, Izzy, my goddaughter, who was on last Thursday's um, vlog, she's got an unconditional offer to go to Bath Spa, so I'm chuffed. That has nothing to do with what I'm showing you here. We had, on Thursday evening, a Thai vegetable curry, and um, I didn't use all of this Thai curry paste, so I'm decanting it into these little plastic pots that came with the takeaway that we had with Granny and Papa on Saturday, and I shall freeze them. Otherwise, this will just go hairy in the fridge. Anyway, enough of that. See you tomorrow.